Hello everyone. Uh, in this IoT lab experiment, we are going to look at DHT sensor, that is digital uh, humidity and temperature sensor. And the aim is uh, to fetch humidity and temperature using DHT11 sensor. And these are the components required: uh, one Node MCU, one DHT11 sensor. So this is the DHT11 sensor. I hope, I hope you can see it. So this sensor is having three pins. One is VCC, middle one is data, second one and uh, the last one is ground. And we need a breadboard and some jumper wires. So this is the schematic or connections diagram. So I am going to connect this DHT11 sensor uh, as per the diagram. Uh, we have three pins in this and the first pin is uh, 3 volts 3.3 .3 volts and the last pin is ground and the middle pin is the data and it is connected to the pin D1 as per the diagram so these are the connections it's very simple and let's see the code so for this uh, we need to include a new library called DHT and for this uh, let's go to Arduino so here is the program uh, before typing the program or after typing the program what you have to do is go to sketch menu and go to include library sub menu and in that click manage libraries uh, it will take a uh, few seconds for the pop up dialog Okay, so this is the library manager dialog. Uh, give it some time before it updates the indexes and all these things. It will take a few seconds. So it is still updating the list. Okay, the list is updated. Now on the top you have a search box. In the search box you have to type DHT. Again, it takes a few seconds for the list to update. Okay, now it has updated and in the results, uh, the library you have to install is this one, uh, DHT sensor library provided by Adopt root and uh, when you highlight this, you will get a button called install. You click on that button, since I had already installed, it is grayed out. So you have to install this library and also if needed, you can install this library also. DHT sensor library for ESP board by BG underscore Tokyo. You can install this if needed. So that's it. Uh, let me go back to the PowerPoint. Okay, so the DHT sensor I am using in this experiment is DHT 11. There are others also DHT 22 and so on, but this sensor is DHT 11. So and the data pin is D1 and then we create an object for the DHT class and the object name is also DHT so this is a class and this is object okay and this we are passing two parameters one is the pin D1 and the other one is the type of sensor which is DHT11 and in the setup uh, function we are initializing the DHT sensor and then starting the serial communication and giving some delay 500 milliseconds. After that in the loop function we are reading the temperature from the sensor by using the predefined function read temperature and we are also reading the humidity by using predefined function read humidity and temperature we are storing in a variable t and humidity in the variable 
H and later we are printing both the temperature and humidity here and here and we are doing this continuously for every one second okay so this is the code and after writing the code in Arduino if you while compiling when you get any error regarding a header file or something uh, you go to this link uh, download the zip file uh, and go to sketch menu include library and then click on add .zip library and then navigate to the library you have downloaded from this URL and just click open that's all okay so let's go to Arduino so this is the program so I am uploading the program okay compilation is over now the program is being dumped on to node MCU so you can see the LED is blinking here uh, ok the program is uploaded and I am opening the serial monitor now you can see uh, the values of temperature and humidity so it is updating for each uh, second one second so you can see I am touching the uh, sensor and it updated to 31 uh, sometimes you might get not a number uh, like this as you are seeing on the screen but no problem so I removed my hand it again the temperature went back to 27 degrees centigrade so that's it thank you